In this lesson, let's see how we can derive at the R address using the secret, which is in the form of mnemonic, family seed, secret number or private key. This is bad practice to hard code the secret, but eventually we will show how to do it in the right way. Now I'll use derive method dot. It has a couple of methods. I'll use family seed to start with, and then we need to pass the secret to it which has to be a family seed by the way. And I'll output the value of account. Now, where is the family seed? We have stored these secrets from our previous video lesson. So I'll be copying the family seed from here and I'll pass it here. So it should output the R address present here, which is associated with the family seed we are hard coding here. So let's check that. So as you can see, the address clearly matches the address associated with this family seed. We also have a private key here. So as an additional bonus, I'll show you how to derive at this R address using private key. So this derive method also has a function called private key to which we will pass this private key, which is in the form of hex. So this should also derive the same R address. So let me clear this and run our script once again. And as you can see, the R address is the same, which is here. Okay. So, and there are no secrets here. You can just derive the R address using the private key which is in hex form. So we'll come to that later in this course. So for now, let's move forward and see how we can derive at the R address using mnemonics and secret number. So let's do the mnemonic thing. So derive also has a method or the function called mnemonic for which you have to pass the mnemonic itself. So I'll copy this mnemonic secret and pass it as a value of this constant secret. Now, once we run this script, we must get this R address, which is associated with the secret mnemonic. And it outputs the same R address. Now, the last thing, which is secret number. If we pass this, it should output the R address associated with it. So let's check that. It's an array, by the way, eight rows of six digit numbers. So derive has a function called secret number. That's it. Let me clear this screen. It should output the R address associated with it, which is here. So let me run the script and it outputs the correct R address. Remember we are not yet connected to XRP ledger and we are not even connected to the internet. These, this is purely mathematical. Also note that hard coding your secret in any of these scripts is a bad practice. So let me just remove this and then make use of couple of features present in node and then ask the user to enter his or her secret and our script should output the R address. So at the very top of our script, I'll check if the user has entered the command properly. That is the arguments are of length less than three. In that case, I'll let the user know how to enter the command. That is the first command that is node and the file name, which is present inside the folder dist. And then the person has to enter his or her secret. So I'll end the process here by showing the proper usage of this script. If the user has entered the proper command, in that case, the secret will be present at position two. The command node is present at the position zero. The file name is present at position one and the secret is present as second argument. That is third argument at position two. Okay. So let's check that. 
now this is secret number which accept accepts the secret number so we'll take that if the user just forgot to enter his or her secret we will just show the show him or her the right way of using it that is the code the command to execute this script now within the double quotes i'll pass the secret numbers so this should output the associated r address so let's check that and it's working check the r address here which is same as the r address present here okay in the same way we can change this to maybe family seed and then you will have to pass in the family seed and not the mnemonics okay so i'll copy this and it should output the associated r address so let's check that and here we have it it clearly prints the correct r address and let's even check for the mnemonic let me copy this the entire mnemonic and paste it as third argument make sure to have the quotes and it outputs the associated r address so this is how you can write a script wherein you accept users secret and the script outputs the r address without the need of internet or connecting to xrp ledger